This is the before bathroom. Before. We have one window, the toilet, the tub that no one ever uses. And then of course the sink, pedestal sink. And it's toweled all the way around. All the way around. But yes, so this is the downstairs bathroom. So beautiful people, I actually picked up this paint from Home Depot and I didn't notice that it was exterior paint until I started editing the video. Yes, I did not pay attention. Um, I don't recommend using exterior paint indoors. <laughs> Let me just throw that out there, but it's okay. It still worked the same way. I'm going to start by kind of going through and outlining everywhere that I'm going to paint to make it easier for myself. And then I'm going to roll on. I am going to paint the walls and the ceiling a bright white, as well as I'm going to go back and I'm going to do an accent wall, which you'll see in the next video. But I am going to also have someone come well he already came and he took off these sconces and he put in new sconces for me so those will be in and then i have a whole oh my gosh it's coming together so nicely guys i can't even explain it to you but i'm going to go through and start painting get all of this done i did end up doing three coats on the wall and three coats on the ceiling as well and the paint works wonders. I do love it. This color on the wall, of course, was not, I'm not a fan. I also did use some Beyond paint, which you'll see momentarily, that I used to paint the tiles in the bathroom, the tiles and the floor tiles as well. So everything is getting a total refresh in this bathroom. Now, I know you're wondering, am I going to redo the bathroom? I did have two companies come and give me quotes to redo this bathroom and the quotes were in between ten and fifteen thousand dollars which is pretty reasonable i do want to eventually get this bathroom gutted add a shower and a tub as you can see it's just a tub in here but add a shower a tub and everything in here but right now that's not in the plans i'm still working on some other things for the house but eventually i would like to get the bathroom gut it and start it over but right now i'm going to refresh the bathroom kind of make it over completely and we're going to use it as is and we've only been in the house for a little over a year so we've been doing pretty good for a little over a year you know using our space and deciding what we're going to do and all of that so we still have time definitely still have time so let's get into the painting and i cannot wait guys for y'all to see part two when I start adding in the decorations and kind of you'll you're going to see the vision actually come to life right now. We're just going to get everything painted, primed and brighten everything up for you. Brighten everything up. I need a summer breeze, some fresh air to put my mind at ease. No, no, no cares. You want to come with me? Taking away, yeah, we're taking away. Don't hesitate now. We're taking away, yeah, we're taking away. We'll never come down. We're going away, yeah, we're going away. You and me. Feeling the sun on my face in a while. Facing a wall
The hard thing about painting the bathroom is that it has really high ceilings. Well, it has a really high ceiling, I should say. And also the angles. Like I had to sit the, the ladder inside of the tub so that I can get all the way up there. And then my camera, I thought I was recording painting the ceiling, but I didn't get that. So now I'm just going to start painting the walls and getting everything rolled on. Definitely follow me on Instagram, guys, because I put a lot of, of updates, like real-time updates on Instagram. So you can see what's going on, what I'm up to, what me and the kids are doing prior to me doing a video on YouTube. So if you have Instagram, definitely follow me on there, Instagram or Facebook, and I'll leave the handles right here for you. They'll also be in the description box for you. So again, like I said, I did do three coats on the wall and the ceilings. And the walls could do another coat, to be honest with you. They can definitely, but I'm going to have some wallpaper on the walls, so I'm not really too worried about it, which you'll, you'll see that um, coming up. So, yeah, I'm going to finish painting this. I'm letting everything dry for several hours, and then I go back and I do another coat. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day. But the night, we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control So I did get the sconces off, but again, I didn't mess with the electrical. I'm using some of the dry deck spackling because the last person in the home, they painted around the sconces. So it did pull a little bit of the paint off the wall. And I just wanted to make it smooth because the new sconces that I put on are not this shape. So I wanted everything to kind of look uniform. So I did get this dry decks from Home Depot. I'm going to put it on. It is pink. It dries white. And then I'm going to go back, sand it. And then I'm going to paint over this area. But I definitely recommend the dry decks. I also had the towel bar removed as well. And I'm going to um, spackle those areas as well. Share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane Either way, baby, we could go all night We could do it all night We could go all night, all night Do we heal, do we bleed? I'ma follow like your lead But we could go all night Now all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail I separate ways ain't gon' end well No we get back, it's like, oh my, all bad all day, but the night I get that good, good till we act right, so tell me where we on the day, babe, I could keep that same energy, when you go low, I go low too, but you'd rather stay high, I know you, can we stay high, babe, I'd rather be on that wave, trying to control our emotions, if we on a rise, Passion. We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby, we could go on We could do it all night We could go all night, all night Do we heal, do we bleed, I'ma follow your lead love. We could go all night I've been calm, cool, collected, but you pushing on my nerves And knowing your attention, I'm under pressure Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said Got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless 
Long as you know I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dress it Gone flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight retreating, then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blem, let's make amends No, you can't, I'm out here Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby, we could go on We could go on all night We could go on all night Do we heal, do we bleed, I'ma follow yo
places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty You act like the bad guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight I, mm, You got the best of me You got me losing sleep yeah. I've been hopeful, baby I was hoping maybe That you cross my path mm, I've been sinking lately And it's hard to move Think I'm stuck on you Oh, it transits Going off to different places Different planets Watch your own So while the paint was drying, of course I was still cleaning up guys, but I'm using this Power Paste by Scrub Daddy, Scrub Mommy. I wanted to get the bottom of this pan clean. I had washed it already, but I said, you know what, let me try this Power Paste and see if this works because I've seen someone do it and I'm like, mm, is this really going to work? Let me just try it. And when I tell you that it definitely works, so what I did is I rubbed it all over the pan. I let it sit for probably about 10 minutes. I cleaned up, wiped off the counters, all of that. I was sweeping. I didn't record myself doing that because this is a bathroom video. But I did, you know, finish cleaning up in there. And like I said, I just rubbed it on, let it sit for a while. And then I went back and I cleaned it. Now, this is probably just baking soda and something else. I'm not really sure of the ingredients, but it works so well. So I did some more cleaning. I came back and I said, now it's time to do another coat of paint on the ceiling, on the walls and everything. As you can see, the dry decks around these sconces is still drying. I can still see a little bit of pink, so I'm not gonna mess with that area yet. I'm gonna let it completely dry, sand it, and then I'm going to paint it. But while that is happening, I'm going to give everything another coat. London wanted to help me paint, which I thought was so cute. I'm like, sure, you can help me. So I just showed her how to get the paint on the roller and how to roll and everything. And she she went to town. I'm like, thank you, sweet pea. I appreciate it. You know, so she was like, yeah, mom, I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. She was so adamant about helping. And I'm like, OK, not a problem. Let's get this done. So, yeah, she's going to paint a little bit. And then we're going to go back and, you know, let it dry and then come back and do it again. Nights at the flat to be real, see me making moves while I'm at. I'm still on the 
So while London is painting, I said, okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna scrub this pan. I did use some Dawn Power Wash too because this stuff is amazing. Y'all know it's amazing. So I did have to add some elbow grease to get this off. And at first I was like, this isn't gonna work. This isn't working. Oh my gosh. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I think this is coming off. Let me just keep scrubbing and scrubbing. And guys, again, this works so well. But I did, I have, you have to add some elbow grease to it. You have to be patient. You got to be patient but these cast iron skillets i got two skillets from sam's club for like 30 dollars. these skillets are so well made they are so nice and so well made i absolutely love them i use them all the time and i was like no i want these to look nice let me get this cleaned off and guys it it works so well definitely try it if you have some pots and pans that you want to bring back to life get that that paste and definitely try it. I'm also going to use that paste, I think, in my oven when I clean the oven because I think that might really help it as well. But I'm going to definitely record that and show you guys how it works out. Snakes in the grass, no breaks on the head, but it's all fun. We done seen it all, heard it all. Heard enough, give me space for I murder y'all. Ten bad tear, I'ma curve them all. Twelve missed calls, and I still made a curtain call. Here to light it up, lighten up. Hear I'm talking, they ain't right enough, tighten up. Everything that I came for, I left with. I don't bang sets, I just bang on the set list. Going past supper when I came for the breakfast. Put me in your prayers, I might put you on the guest list. Young, tell me reckless, gold in my soul, got the same. So beautiful people, I apologize for all the noise in the background. I'm actually on my lunch at my um, class today. And I was like, let me hurry up and get this um, voiceover done for you guys so that you can see what I've been up to lately. <laughs> so again, I apologize for that. But anyway, I want to say that I'm adding another coat of paint. I'm making sure that I get in the creases and I'm going to go back and roll it on. And then we're going to move on to painting the towel with the Beyond Paint. I did go and buy some more. Well, I ordered this Beyond Paint off of Amazon. You can order it off the website, Amazon. Or I did go to Ace Hardware and I purchased some licorice, which is black Beyond Paint and the sealer off of Ace. That way I can just pick it up same day and use it. But yeah, you, you can order it from a couple different places. Now, this paint is not cheap. So for a gallon of paint, it was $117, I think, or something like that. The paint is not cheap at all, but it does work very, very well, depending on what you're painting. So just want to throw that out there.
hold you close, but you know my mind is torn now. I never thought it'd be like this. We're like a broken record, 'cause we always mess it up, even though we still we never do that. So here we go, acting like we do. We say things that are not true, but somehow I'm still here. Can make this moment last just forever. 
want some of that I'm not the same 
So now I am getting ready to, well, I painted the door and I'm actually gonna paint the door a different color. Eventually you'll see that. But I'm using the Beyond Paint, okay? And this is supposed to be in the color, um, supposed to be bright white, but it, it's more of a cream color, if you ask me. It's not a bright white. So just wanna throw that out there. And maybe because it's on these tiles, I don't know, but it, it's definitely not a bright white. They do have several different colors, not sponsored. I'm just telling you what I've found out. So I am going to paint these tiles. I actually did three coats on the tiles, guys, three. And what I noticed, it says you don't have to sand, you don't have to do anything. Now I did clean the bathroom very well. If you're wondering, I didn't show you that, but I did scrub the tiles and the floors and everything prior to starting this project. I definitely want to put that out there, but I did not sand or anything. And what I noticed is, so I'm going to go and I'm going to paint the tiles. If you don't, well, I'll say like when I went to go do the second coat, some of the paint from the prior coat was coming off. And so I was like, well, maybe I need to let it dry for a little bit longer. So I let it dry for like eight hours. I came back and tried again and it was still pulling the paint off of the tile. Now... I did the third coat and I'm like, okay, it, and it seemed to be sticking really, really well. I waited like a day in between, but it says to let it cure. You got to let it cure for like a week. So that's something else you got to remember. And again, no one really uses this bathroom. They usually, you know, like if someone is upstairs, they'll come down and use the toilet, but that's about it, you know, toilet and sink. So I'm not really worried about these tiles too much. So again, I am going to do multiple coats on here. And as you can see, you can tell that it's not a bright white. But every time I did a new coat, it did look brighter, just not a bright white. So, but they have like a navy blue, they have a like a green, they have, like I said, the licorice, they have a gray, they have a, several different colors. So you can kind of find what color you're looking for. If you ask me, I'm just letting you know again that this paint is not cheap and it's super thick. It has the consistency of like pudding. So it's super thick. You don't have to stir it or anything like that. You just open it up. It's like globby. You put it in your cup or your tray or whatever and you get to painting. It's self leveling, which I like. And yeah, I just went through the entire bathroom, painted it, let it dry, then came back and did another coat. And it dries fairly quickly. So I thought, again, like I said, it was peeling the paint off of the tile. So, you know, definitely give it some extra time.
I did paint the tiles on the floor and I'm glad I did. I did not like the color. It wasn't going to go with the design of the bathroom. I did try to do a stencil on the bathroom floor and guys, that didn't work. I recorded some of it you'll get to see, but I eventually said nope and I ended up painting over that stencil. Excuse me. Painting over the stencil, but if I had more room, that would be great, but it's a smaller space and I really didn't feel like doing all of the little tiny intricate stuff of the stencil. So I'm like, mm -mm, never mind, let me just move on and I just painted the tile floor. Okay, beautiful people. So this is the end of day one. We got one coat on the floor, on the tile. We got multiple coats on the wall and on the ceiling. I'm not, I mean, I am not too worried about the walls because I'm going to um, put some wallpaper up on the walls. But the ceiling, I want to be bright, bright white. So I'm going to do another coat on the ceiling tomorrow. And then, like I said, we have the floor and I'm gonna do another coat and stuff on the tile tomorrow so and then after that you have to put the glaze on to protect it so that's another project so not another project but another like day so I'm gonna let this dry tonight and then I'm gonna start I might not do it tomorrow but maybe the next day because I have class tomorrow after work so we'll see if I get to it tomorrow but Anyway, the process has started. So now I'm going back to this pan one more time and I'm just going to scrub it with a little bit of Dawn soap and make sure I got as much of the brown stuff off as I possibly could. And the pan looks great, guys. So I just wanted to try that experiment to see if it really worked and it worked pretty good. So no complaints at all. I'll definitely be using the paste on a few more of my pots and pans because I like for them to look brand spanking new, you know, <laughs> like why not? So anyway, I am going to just get this dried off. And as you can see, the bottom of the pan is like brand new. It's like brand new. So I definitely recommend it. I think I bought this paste from Walmart or Target. I can't remember definitely try it out if you're in the market to kind of get your pans back to looking brand new so thank y'all for watching i'm going to clean up in here tidy up a little bit and then i will see y'all in the next video i love y'all to the moon and back have a wonderful day uh be safe and thank y'all for y'all time and i'll talk to you later bye
that we are done.